These are basically the gas shocks that we, use, that we use in our various products. This is one off a barber chair. It also fits a couple of our other chairs. Uh, we have procedures for replacing the gas shocks. Um, they're typically online a lot of times. So this is for, for replacing on a barber chair. And then we also have a procedure, even though they do look confusing, uh, we call this a simple one on how to adjust a gas shock and what you're looking for. You're looking for a air gap between the pin and the piston, and you're going to lose it, use this nut uh, to adjust the gas shock if it's uh, if the chair is reclining by itself because of stuff getting bent. So again, um, this is our older style, the L rods. They're pretty tough, but if they do get bent, you want them to be straight, and uh, they're adjustable. Uh, in and out of this housing. So the newer newer ones which we beefed up are uh, three times stronger and they are typically you're not going to bend them and again it's this air shock in the end here up in here and a gas shock when this is all bolted together in a chair you got to have a you got to have an air space between that pin and the paddle so you should typically feel when you push the lever in and out a little bit, you should be able to feel uh, that airspace. And if you don't, then what you're doing is you're basically, again, you're holding this pin in on the end of this gas shock, which tells it to move. So if you hold that pin in, I can't even push it, they're so hard to, if you're holding that pin in, this gas shock is going to move. So you got to have that airspace between this paddle and that pin, because if you're holding that in just a little bit, the chair is going to recline by itself. And what you're going to do is basically you're going to adjust uh, how far this thing screws into this housing by loosening this nut up on this shaft. And uh, just pretend that this is where it was adjusted and the airspace is too little. Uh, you would typically loosen this nut, um, spin it up the shaft. So you run out of threads, then put a wrench on it and turn the entire shock right from here. You don't have to take it out. One full turn and then take your nut and retighten it. If you don't tighten it, it's just going to keep spinning in farther and farther over time and it's going to get out of adjustment again. So this is your reclining mechanism. Uh, when you pull the lever, it moves. And then the gas, the, the gas shock allows the chair to go back or forth. And that's basically, it's very simple, but because you can't see it very easily, the best way to get at it is lay the chair on its back. Uh, the hydraulic pumps won't leak oil, uh, typically, and you're going to be able to see what you're doing and make a simple adjustment.